Hi everyone and welcome to this new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate Matomo Analytics to Moodle. So Moodle is an e-learning um, platform on which you can easily put some course and then uh, easily, of course, follow the progress of each of your learners. So for example, here we have a platform which is providing uh, several courses and we would like to measure if uh, the different students are currently attending to those uh, classes or they're facing any difficulties in order to watch a video, for example, or to um, follow any and uh, fully follow any assignment if they are actually finding out the different information that they are looking for as they're looking at their grades and so on and so forth so that's typically the kind of thing that you can measure with matomo analytics so there are different ways you can integrate matomo analytics on moodle let's say the most uh, used way probably is to use uh, the plugin which have been developed uh, for it in my case i'm not going to use this technique because i really would like to play with the tag manager instead and this current integration does not offer the possibility to use uh, the tag manager so I'm going to explain how you can integrate this given tracking code in Matomo Analytics and then use uh, the full power of it. So first of all, you need, of course, to create a website in Matomo. And once you do so, you will get your Matomo Tag Manager tracking code. Then in order to integrate this given tracking code within the Moodle, I'm not using any plugin here because Moodle has this feature already. So you just need to go here within the preferences of the admin, then click on Sit Administration. And once you are here, you need to click on Appearance. Once you are in Appearance, you need to click on Additional HTML. And here you have the possibility to copy and paste the tracking code, which will be uh, pasted in all the pages within the head tag of each pages of Moodle. So in my case, I did it. And then you need to, to click here on Save Changes. And as a result, in fact, everything will be um, will be now deployed within the head of uh, the website. So as a result here, as you can see, every time that I'm having a look at any of those page, normally if I refresh my page over here, I should see that Matomo has been recorded. So I'm just gonna go over here and see, okay, so you see I was on the calendar, so that's why I pick up actually the title and the calendar. Okay, that's good because that's what the default uh, tag of Matomo is doing is doing the page view tags which measure every pages of your uh, Moodle but then here you can see that I created an additional uh, tag so this one is just a basic tag that I just created like this it's not uh, it's not perfect but it's just in order to show you how far you can go in terms of measurement by doing it uh, very easily so in my case I created a tag and this tag is just called measure each click element I'm uh, sending the data to my Matomo website that I indicated. It's going to call an event every time someone's going to click on an element and I want to push the data, click element and click text as a variable. So here it means that every click which is made on an element of uh, the, let's say the page. So let, let's imagine here that I'm clicking on, on Saturday the 8th and then I would like to know uh, how many people click on this uh, show more and maybe this button as well. Uh, those interactions are measured thanks to the tracking code that I just showed you. So it's measuring an event. And as you can see, those events are now appearing uh, down below. You see, click, I clicked on the eight, and now I can now get, I can get even more information and so on and so forth. So as you can see, I can really tell to Matomo to collect as many interactions as I want within Moodle. So of course, once this data collection process is made, I have probably all the data that I need in order to take my decision. I know if my learners are currently using all the features of my Moodle. Um, I uh, strongly advise you not to do the exact same tag because as a result, it will track maybe too much data. And as a result, mm -hmm. uh, your database will probably collapse. So please uh, define your tag accordingly. But it was just in order to show you how easy it is to integrate the tag management within Moodle and to be able to measure any interaction that you want occurring within uh, Moodle platform. And that's it uh, for the video of today. So uh, if I were you and if I you would like to practice a little bit more with Moodle, please feel free to 
deploy the Matomo Tag Manager for your Moodle platform and try to measure the interaction uh, that you care the more about. Once more, thank you for watching. Do not hesitate to share this video with others and to create as well your own video.